Hey, what's everyone? Seen Time Gaming here. Welcome back for our Division 2 weekly Casa Mendoza reset. Well, guys, today she is located uh, over here at the Federal Triangle, right opposite to the Theodore Settlement. And if you guys want to know where I found my snatch today, I actually found him right next to the Castle Settlement over here, the alleyway. And uh, if you guys don't, you know, know how to find the snatch or if you're having trouble finding the snatch, I actually have a video out a few weeks ago. I'm going to post it, I mean, pin it in the uh, comment section. You can take a look. If we, you will not have any trouble finding the snitch. Uh, if you follow that video so now let's take a look what she got for sale so the first named item we have here is the artist's tool rifle uh it comes with perfect rifleman talent we have maxed out crit damage over here and 13.1 uh, swap speed with a very low rifle damage i mean you can use this rifle it's not a bad rifle the perfect rifleman talent is actually really solid um if you're making some sort of uh you know spam build like a crit build i've actually made few of them in my channel uh i've used merciless i've used uh you know svds so yeah if you're trying to make those with the um, uh, with a lot of weapon handling and stuff like that you can actually use this but then you need to optimize the rifle damage quite a lot because it's very low you can change the swap speed to damage the target out of cover and then you're good but like i said you know rifle damage is very low so you need a lot of resources to optimize it now next we have the uh, everyday carrier chest piece which is a named bellstone chest piece comes with the perfectly efficient talent we have crit chance on it 4.1 percent maxed out health which nobody cares about and uh, we have uh, armor on that as well kind of medium way so you can change the health to crit damage and you can use this chest piece i'm not sure if it's good for pvp because i've seen a lot of people people use the efficient talent because they armor kit a lot so that might be handy i'm not really sure about that though now next we have the shield splinter assault rifle with perfect uh, optimist talent we have crit damage eight percent 16 percent which is health damage and 11.5 percent of assault rifle damage then we have the hunter killer uh which comes with a beautiful perfect intimidate talent but this one is kind of bad i would say because we have explosive resistance 7.6 and health 16,127. i mean the armor is kind of in the high side but if one of these stats had like crit chance crit damage or even you know skill damage status effect or something like that i would say it would be really nice but I mean, health and explosive resistance, we basically don't need these two stats unless you are making some sort of a, a I mean, explosive resistance type of build. Um, so you can actually use this and then change the health to crit damage. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's not that great. We have seen better uh, Hunter Killer Chespies at Cassie. But hey, if you don't see these two items, you know, the Shield Splinter or the Hunter Killer at Cassie, that means you haven't cleared your hunters. There are a bunch of hunters in the game which you need to kill. Then you can see these two named items at your Cassie Mendoza. So do that, uh, just watch some guide videos on YouTube. There are a bunch of them. Um, you can do that by yourself, solo. You don't really need help. Just do it on normal. They're easy to kill, but you have to have a little bit of patience because they're hunters. So yeah. Now next we have the Rigor Backpack, which comes with 8.9% of status effect. A negotiated dilemma chest piece with 12.7% weapon damage, 4.9% of crit chance. A striker's gloves with 12.7% weapon damage, 8.9% of hazard protection. A true patriot knee pads with 127,530 armor, 7.5% explosive resistance a striker's holster with 11.3 weapon damage 5.3 crit chance ongoing directive mask with 10.9 percent of weapon damage 8.4 percent of headshot damage a tactical m249 para lmg with future perfect talent 8.5 percent of stability 8 percent of damage to target out of cover and 13.2 percent of lmg damage then we have the m1 acqb rifle with the reformation talent we have 9 percent of stability 13 percent of crit damage 12 percent of rifle damage a wyvernware backpack with adrenaline rush talent 10.3 percent of skill haste 7.5 percent of explosive resistance or all the holdings knee pads with 11.9 weapon damage 10.6 skill haste and 8 percent of skill damage then we have the utility protocol mod which is 10.5 skill haste and last we have a hive mod which is 4.5 percent of healing so that's it for Ka Cassie Mendoza guys she's gonna sell all these items for the rest of the week but she will change her location so you have to find the snitch all the time like I said just follow the video which I'm gonna post if you're having trouble finding the snitch you will find him guaranteed if you watch that video so yeah that's basically it I mean the items are not that great uh the shield splinter and the hunter killer is not that great as well i mean if you want to try you can try it if you're first time uh, getting the hunter killer after killing all the hunters then yeah you can give it a try because that uh, perfect intimidate you know the 40 percent multiplicative damage is a really really nice damage uh, but then again you know the the sub stats are not that great um, but yeah it can work it can work i've made a lot of weird builds and i'm pretty sure yeah it, it can be usable so yeah that's basically it for the video i hope you guys will find what you're looking for and i'll see you guys in the next one until then peace